So in this video, I wanted to show you a new feature that's been released in Microsoft Teams assignments that hopefully is really going to help teachers um, overcome a problem which um, I know a few schools have reported to us. So when you set a student an assignment, potentially they can go in and they can just press a button to say that they've completed that assignment. The parents will then be notified that that child has um, has completed the assignment that they've done it and on occasions the work is missing or it's not um, it's not com been completed to the correct level so there is an option now for teachers to reassign the work back to the students and put it back in that to-do state so let's start off by setting an assignment for this student so I'm logged in as a teacher going to go to my go to my assignment area this is slightly different navigation on this left hand side and I'm going to create a brand new assignment for this uh, group of students so I've created an assignment here I want them to write 500 words about being lost on a desert island and I've attached a rubric to this for my grading purposes I've given it some points and I'm going to assign that to the entire class so I'm now logged in as a student and I've got a new homework, creative writing. And if I go to view that assignment, I can now see what my task is and what I need to do. And as a student, I can always create a new document, I can attach work to it. But you may sometimes set an assignment where the student just has to say that it's been completed. It might be reading a book, it could be uh, maybe doing some art on a piece of paper and handing it in. So it's not always going to be the case that students have to attach or hand in work. However, in this case, attach some work, um, they, do, they do need to create some content. So potentially the student could just click hand in now. They could create a blank document and return that back to me. And in the system, it'll be down as completed. And previously as a teacher, there was no way of undoing that. Um, so parents weren't always seeing the relevant information on their weekly email digest. As a teacher, it wasn't great for their mark books. So I'm going to go through that process again today. So this student, they've handed in their work, but they haven't actually handed anything in to me. Or maybe they have and the work just isn't good enough. So switching back to the teacher, we can see that Susan has handed the work in. However, when I go here, I can see there's absolutely no work at all. And in this case, that's not acceptable. So I might say in the comment section, um, this is not acceptable. Please attach your work. Any issues, see me. And in instead of just returning it back to the student, which will give them their grade, which is currently zero, I'm actually going to return it back to them for revision. So it's going to put it back in their to-do list and they have to complete that assignment again. Now logging back in as a student, going to my assignment list, I can see creative writing is due tomorrow and it needs revision. And if I click into that, I can actually see the feedback from the teacher, the grade, and I can have another go. And maybe this time I'm going to attach some work and this time we're going to imagine the student has completed that work. So they've completed the submission, they've handed it back into the teacher again. And logging back in as a teacher, I can see that this, that this student has turned in again. And I can come into here, I can see that this time they have done the work, I'm going to change the comments. And again, this time I'm just going to return it back to them so they can see the grade, they can see the document, but they can't make any more changes to that assignment and logging back in as a student you can now see it now comes under the completed list there it is right at the bottom and I can see the grade and the feedback and my parents will be able to see that as well with the parent and guardian digest email which is sent weekly through Microsoft School Data Sync. so I hope that's been useful check out our video channel for lots of other useful videos and if you do need help with setting up Microsoft School Data Sync, or if you need to extend SharePoint or make Teams work really well for your school, feel free to get in contact using the details on screen now.